Good morning, students. Now we can go through how to write literature review video three, that is critical appraisal of evidences for literature review. Critical appraisal is the process of carefully and systematically assessing the quality of research articles. Okay. So, before writing the literature review, you have to carefully and systematically assess the quality of research article which are included in the literature review. So, how you will check the quality? You have to make sure that uh, there is trustworthiness, value and relevance in a particular context for those articles to be included in the literature review. Critical appraisal looks at the way a study is conducted and it examines all the factors such as internal validity, generalizability, and the relevance. Internal validity means the quality of how the uh, research is done. Generalizability means is it generalizable to other studies okay is it a representative of the population so that it can be generalized to others and if the research article and the research finding is relevant okay as a researcher we need to check these 10 questions these are to be asked when critically appraising a research article Okay, what are these 10 questions? Is the research question relevant? Okay, does the study add anything new to the knowledge, knowledge uh, ocean? Or uh, is, it, uh, is the study filling the knowledge gap? Okay, does the study add anything new? What type of research question is being asked? So in the previous uh, previous video we have seen there is an evidence table, right? So what research question is asked? Was the study design appropriate for the research question? So you have to check if the article study design or research design is appropriate for the research question of that article. Did the study methods address the most important potential sources of bias. There are so many bias when we are doing a research, right? Like selection bias, information bias, recall bias. Okay, the, these are all main bias in conducting a research. If you are doing a systematic review, there will be publication bias. So, the author may be choosing only those articles which is having a positive finding. That is known as publication bias. So, these all bias are addressed or not when you are, uh, when you are including a research in literature review, you have to check that. Okay, sixth question is, was the study performed? according to the original protocol okay when when the research uh, is a, an experimental research or randomized controlled trial so sometimes the protocol or proposal may be different from the actual research so as a uh, as a researcher who is writing literature review we have to check if the protocol was same as the published research. Okay, if protocol was different than the published research means the researcher has modified the finding based on the findings they obtained. So that is different from the protocol. So you have to verify it. When you are uh, doing literature review of randomized controlled trial or experimental trial, you try to get the protocol. If it is published, you please try. Check for published protocol if available. For randomized control trial, you can check in Cochrane database. They will publish the protocols. Or you can check Prospero 
Prospero database. They will also publish the protocols. So you can check that. Does this study test a stated hypothesis? So you have to check in the introduction phase what is the research question, what are the hypotheses. Okay, so if the study finding tested the hypothesis or not. Okay, so if the study finding matches with the hypothesis, are they proving or disproving the stated hypothesis? Were the statistical analysis performed correctly? What statistical analysis was done? Was it parametric statistical test or non-parametric statistical test? Was that appropriate for this situation or not? Do the data justify the conclusions? Sometimes they may give a conclusion which is not justified by the data. So you have to check if the conclusion of the research article is based on the data given in the article itself. Okay, are there any conflicts of interest? So they may be giving, the research may be giving clean shit to tobacco smoking or uh, a clean, uh, clean certificate for alcohol use. Alcohol use is acceptable or something is given. In that case, you check, is there any conflict of interest? Are they funded by an alcohol company or are they funded by a tobacco company? You have to check. So you have to check if the research that we are choosing for the literature review are free from conflict of interest. Okay, so these are the things you have to check while doing critical appraisal. So next one. Huh? There are some checklists are available. Okay, when you are downloading a uh, randomized controlled trial, so you have to critically evaluate the quality of randomized controlled trial, right? It is based on consort checklist. So you just Google consort checklist. So you will get consort checklist. So you read the randomized controlled trial and check if it is according to the consort checklist. If it is according to the consort checklist, that means that quality of article is good. Then observational studies. If you are downloading observational studies like cohort study, case control study, or cross-sectional study, so please download Strobe checklist, S-T-R-O-B-E, Strobe checklist. And the strobe checklist will be having multiple uh, uh, specified checklists for cross-sectional studies, for case control study, for cohort study. So you please check with that. If you are downloading systematic reviews or meta-analysis, please download Prisma checklist. That is the checklist for systematic reviews and meta-analysis. If you are downloading and reading qualitative research to be included into your literature review, you have to follow SRQR checklist. If the qualitative research is of good quality or not, you look at standard requirement for qualitative research checklist. Okay. Clinical practice guidelines. You, you are downloading a clinical practice guideline. Please check for AGREE checklist. That is A-G-R-E-E -E checklist. That is for clinical practice guidelines. Okay. Please download the appropriate checklist and apprise for quality before including it in the literature review. Okay. Next video, we will look for the uh, limitations and uh, limitations while preparing literature review. Thank you.